Hello there, welcome to another episode of the Allotment Dram. This is a series of short videos where we sit and talk about different whiskies in the surroundings of our North London allotment. As you can see, you've joined me today on another cold, crisp day, one, possibly two degrees if I'm lucky. Um, but yeah, I love days like this. It's so fresh and sort of vibrant up here. It's not stopped me uh, harvesting uh, some things actually, you know, particularly with Burns Night uh, coming up on January the 25th managed to uh, sort of get a couple of these turnips you know very pleased with these it's the first time we've ever had any sort of success with them uh, so yeah they'll be very nice with the mashed potato and the haggis on uh, January the 25th and uh, of course I am here to talk about whiskey though so you know why am I showing you turnips when I could be talking about that I hear some of you asking but uh, what is it today the allotment dram well it's one of the biggest selling whiskies in the world that's what it is it's the Jack Daniels old number seven and uh, this is a whiskey which you know doesn't really need any introduction but actually if you try and find out any information about it considering it's such a big brand it's actually quite difficult to find out you know any of the history or uh, background to it so you know it is uh, the top selling American whiskey in the world and in fact every country where it's sold bar one there's only one country where it's sold where it's not the number one selling American whiskey on the market so if anyone can guess what that country is please leave it in the comments but uh, I'm not gonna, even going to give you any clues but there's one country in the world where it's not the number one selling uh, American whiskey and of course this uh, forms the cornerstone, it's the one that's most well known. Uh, but there are other things in the range, there's Gentleman Jack, there's a single barrel and also some you know, very nice limited editions from time to time. And you know, then of course, you know, recently introduced uh, some flavours as well. So you know, there's Jack Honey, there's the Apple, Tennessee Apple and then there's uh, also the fire as well which you know has some cinnamon quite a lot of cinnamon in it actually but uh, the distillery is in uh, Lynchburg Tennessee actually within Moore County which uh, ironically is a dry county so you can't actually uh, drink or purchase alcohol in Moore County where, where you know one of the most famous whiskies in the world is is made and um, apart from actually at the distillery you can uh, buy at the distillery and why is it called old number seven I mean a number of urban myths about that really um, you know that it's the district number within the county in Tennessee that it was attributed back in the past you know it was the seventh recipe that people liked and became successful but no one really knows that's the answer but the distillery was founded by Jasper Newton Daniel and it had really sort of humble beginnings you know started in 1866 as a very small operation and uh, his nickname was Jack so you know if it wasn't for nicknames he'd, this would be called Jasper Daniels now you know so Jasper Newton Daniel otherwise known as Jack but the distillery itself didn't become known as Jack Daniels until the 1880s and he actually introduced these square bottles as well which you know now are quite iconic but it was to basically stack them so when they were being shipped they didn't move around and and smash so you know that's obviously been tweaked to design a little bit over the years but uh, it's currently owned by Brown Foreman who's you know massive uh, drinks organization one of the biggest in the world and they took over in 1956 and have owned it ever since so you'll see also that it says on here that it's sour mash whiskey and it is well what does that mean it it's basically means that the mash which in the case of Jack Daniels is made of corn rye and malted barley uh, some of that mash is taken uh, from the previous batch and add it into the new batch to essentially kickstart the fermentation and it also gives consistency of fermentation so it's a little bit like um, at home I've got a, a sourdough uh, base which I take a little bit of every time I want to make a sourdough loaf or some pizza sourdough pizza bases or something like that I take a bit of this and then mi mix it in with the new batch and it goes from there and it kind of kick starts it so that, that's probably the easiest way to think about it um, and 
It also goes through a thing called the Lincoln County process, which is quite unique to uh, Tennessee whiskies. And this happens between uh, the new make coming off the still and it being filled to the cask. So what happens is it, it slowly gets filtered through, it pretty much drips through like 10 feet, it's around three meters of sugar maple charcoal. Uh, and this removes any impurities and undesirable compounds. So it gives a, a sort of softer, uh, sort of gentler feel uh, to the whiskey as well. Um, so I think without further ado, we should we should have a have a taste. I've poured a glass here because you see I've got my gloves on because it's so cold. So I don't want to take them off for you or anybody, quite frankly. Um, but uh, let's have a smell. And it's just intensely sweet. You know, all um, it's forty percent. You know, so not very strong, but. Uh, I'm not strong for whiskey anyway but uh, as with all American whiskies it has to be put into uh, fresh American oak casks of virgin oak and this just gives this amazing sweetness so it's tons of vanilla there's tons of like golden or possibly even maple syrup honey but also underneath there's this sort of warming spiciness this comes from fresh oak as well it's not just sweetness it's got uh, yeah so sort of like cinnamon a bit of like uh, peppery like white pepper that sort of heat but also some fruit and it's like an overripe banana I always get this is every Jack Daniels that I try any of those ones that I mentioned before or the limited editions or this get in this overripe banana so it's like a banana bread or maybe even you know this foam banana sweets that you get in old-fashioned sweet shops like pick and mix things like that so let's have a taste yes yeah, that sweetness that comes straight away it's mouth coating this is probably why it's so popular because I mean, obviously, they've got massive marketing budgets, massive distillery. Um, but the flavour is so sweet, and this is why I think it strikes a chord with a lot of people and their palates, because it has this sweetness, and it means you can drink it like this, or over ice. Or, you know, it's particularly well known for, of course, mixing with other things like cola or lemonade or other mixers, or within a cocktail. And because it's so sweet, that enables the whiskey to stand out. I mean, otherwise, you know, you might as well mix. If you can't taste what you're mixing, there's no point putting it in, in, in my view. So this comes out, this sweetness and this uh, sort of fruity banana quality. Let, let's have another taste. It's sweet banana those warming spices there's a bit more of a distinct sort of woodiness this time it's starting to dry on the side of the 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 tongue that's where you get the dryness uh, same with anything you get dryness on the side and yeah it's like freshly shaved oak slightly toasted oak maybe but yeah you know not the most complicated whiskey but you know most of the popular big brands aren't yeah, but it's good, for, decent for what it is, and normally very good price. You know, everywhere sells. You know, every shop that sells alcohol uh, will have this. You know, every supermarket they normally have it on a deal as well, so you can pick it up for a very good price. But um, from myself and the Jack Daniel's old number seven, uh, it's time to bid you farewell. We're off to uh, keep reacquainted with each other and keep each other warm and do a few jobs before it gets dark but uh, we'll say uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time cheers